Hey guys, today I would like to show you how to treat your vocals to get a better top end. We're also going to explore a couple of plugins that we haven't used before. Let's listen to what we have for this demo. You give me love. I've treated this vocal with a couple of plugins. I'm using uh, UAD's LA2A legacy version, feeding that to Metric Halo Channel Strip 3, and then I'm adding some oxide tape to this. What I'm gonna show you is uh, MDW, Massenberg Design Works EQ6. We're gonna make a few changes. I'm gonna do a high pass first. We're going uh, to get rid of some of the 200 Hertz around here. We'll increase 1.7, around 1.8 dB, and we'll widen the Q around 1.7K, and we'll keep that at 0.7. And next, I am going to use SPL's Vitalizer by Plugin Alliance. Going to push my compression between 2 and 4. We'll use mid to high tune 2.2. We'll set our process dial between 2 and 4. We'll stereo expand this to 4, increase our intensity as well, and we're going to tighten that up and reduce our drive. Let's listen to how it sounds. You give me love. Yeah. You give me love. Here's again before. You give me love. You give me love. Yeah. You give me love. There is one more thing that I would like to do. I would like to make sure the vocal integrates well with the high end. What we can do about this is duplicate this vocal. We're going to roll off everything on that duplicate track up to 7.5k we'll use a high pass 12 for this on our drum bus i have split this to three the lows the mids the highs using ableton stock multiband dynamics on the highs i'm going to add our comp by waves i'm going to side chain that to our duplicate vocal track fastest attack that way, the high end on our vocals is side chaining the high end on our drum bus. Let's listen to how this sounds. You give me love. Yeah. You give me love. Here is before. You give me love. Yeah. You give me love. After. You give me love. Try this approach and let me know what you think in the comments. You give me love.